Good morning, everyone. So, <clears throat> I'm just figured I'd get a start on the recording early. So, let's see, I'm just not. You know, the apartment's a terrible mess in the morning before I clean it up and show you all. My chimney spice is still up. Roach. Uh, and a paper towel. It's all icky, gross. I don't know what that is. Oh, it was dried on there because it was on the warm coffee pot. That's gross. Oh, at least the coffee was made. Thanks to the roommate. I didn't know when she got home last night. Or not. But I woke up this morning and there's coffee made and I didn't do it, so. Uh, hopefully my computer will be better today. It was, it was being, it was being a little bitch yesterday. Oh, look at this. The American fuel. First sip of the day, I get to share it with the internet. That's really fun, that's really cool. I'm gonna turn the other light on. Yes, I know you're starting up computer. Okay, this is, this is what I look like in the morning and how I think in the morning. So, it is 9.36. That seems awfully late for a lot of you guys, I know, but, you know, if you watch Portlandia, You've seen this show. You've seen the song, probably. Um, I'll put a link in the description in case you haven't. The dream of the 90s is alive in Portland. Mm. The hell? Can't think. I will catch you all when I've woke up. Um, here. Enjoy a scene from something I got this weekend when we were in Portland. to make an emergency uh, store run Aaron this morning see he's taking out the garbage like a good little husband so I'm we're going to the store because we need deodorant I'm probably gonna pick up a coffee while I'm out for my whatnot anyways hopefully we'll be back in time for the chew okay now that I'm back home I've made myself a sandwich but I gotta tell you, this, I, at Freddy's, oh, mm, mm, yeah, I got, they had, they had cheese samples. Well, stupid me, I didn't understand what one of them was. We tried to look it up in the cheese book, because I'm kind of particular, um, but there was one there, and I looked at it and went, oh, yay, cheese samples. And there was like all the whole little dish thing. It was just like the little tiny cups of like chunks of cheese. And I was like, yay, cheese. Oh, and I could tell. I may be colorblind, but I, I can tell blue. Blue. This is a game card. Um, I can tell blue when I see it. And that was blue cheese. And I'm like, no. No, 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 no. However, the other one was Organzola. And they call it Organzola, but you look at it and you're like, it's Oregonzola. And it's, it's Gorgonzola from Oregon. I'm like, what makes it so special? Like, well, what's Gorgonzola? Well, it looks like blue cheese to me, but that's kind of black. So maybe it's, maybe it's a pepper jack kind. So Aaron ran over to the cheese thing and he, he goes, oh, I don't know. And I'm looking over at the cheese tray thing which I'll show you here in a couple minutes, or in a second or so, what the whole cheese tray looks like. And I was like, I found the Gorgonzola, and it was like, didn't say what it was, so I tried it. And I was like, oh, this doesn't taste, and then like, my brain, oh. 
I was like, okay, go get your, uh, and like my eye had closed and I'm like, go get your peppers because they're having taco day at work for him. So he took bell peppers. Um, yeah, that was, he told me about it, but I had forgotten that it was today. Anyways, so yeah, anyways, so the, yeah. Oh, and I just don't eat blue cheese. I like the taste of it, but the aftertaste of that mold just hits here and then goes straight up into my brain. I'm like, I can just smell it. And I'm like, go get your green peppers. I need to get a palate cleanser. And I seriously like ran, like here's the cheese stuff. And I went over to Pete's Coffee. Pete's Coffee. Cause I need a palate cleanser. And I, I, I seriously was walking over and I was like, can I get a large coffee? 225. And my brain went, bullshit. <laughs> okay, cool. Then I pulled out the five and I paid him. My like, coffee should not be 225. Not for this. I mean, huh, I can make this for 50 cents. Pete's coffee's a ripoff. But I needed a palate cleanser and I guess, you know. I guess they made two dollars and or a buck seventy-five off of me because I needed to get blue cheese out of my thing. So, anyways, here we go. I'm gonna show you the cheese bar, cheese tray, whatever, the cheese cooler, whatever you want to call it. It's 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 amazing. And we'll we'll come back here in a bit and we'll talk about something that kind of bugged me this morning. Trust me, that looks delicious. Made a sandwich while we were out. Um, it's really strange because I get pre-packed, pre-sliced, you know, American singles, but it's pepper jack, but it's not. It's like it's got brown flakes in it. It has an extra pepper jack. So I threw some of my spicy mustard on it. It's jalapeno mustard. Just a squirt, just a dapple do you. And, um, and then I put on queso fresco, chipotle cheese on the other side and just sort of squished it between two pieces of bread. It's my lunch. When Aaron was cutting up his bell peppers to take them to work today for taco day, I, uh, I was like, mmm, ribs. And I picked one up and I just threw it in my mouth. And he goes, I didn't think that. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's not what you think of when someone says, mmm, ribs. You don't think green pepper ribs. <laughs> but I do kind of like them because they have, well, they're technically denser. You know, they, they have more green flavor. <laughs> so, this morning, on The View, Elizabeth Hasselbeck. About, about I, I, already flipped, I already flipped shit on Twitter today. Um... I was not having this. I'm tired of people just loading up on the hand sanitizer. It just, it, you know, I made a little, little quip today this morning. I was like, stop bullying influenza. People want to stop bullying, but you know, they stop bullying what I care about. That's what it is. They don't want to stop bullying. They want you to stop bullying stuff they care about. Really, that's what it is. So, because you put hand sanitizer all over the place and you don't get germs. Okay, that's a cool idea. That's a g idea. You know, there are lots of good things that look good on paper. <laughs> you know, you write down the rules for communism and you think, wow, that's a really good idea. But you forgot to take in human greed. We all have it. It's a survival instinct. But, and so she's like, she has this little tiny necklace of hand sanitizer. Like it has a little pouch, she has a hand sanitizer, and like, she's like, well, what do you, blah, 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 blah. Ooh. I'm like, seriously, you're the reason why this flu is making an outbreak is because people are over sanitizing everything. 
And they don't actually, ha you know, people are getting the crap kicked out of them by, you know, the in by influenza because they don't actually regularly exercise themselves. You know, it's sort of like, what do you expect? No, well, let's look at this as you know, since she is a very, very staunch, staunch, stout, whatever the word is, Republican. Well, let's look at this in terms of the military. So, you've got the country. We're just going to go with the contiguous 48 here because Alaska and Hawaii, you guys are lovely. I would like to visit you both, but you don't really work in terms of this. It's, you know. So, we've got the contiguous United States. We'll just consider it kind of an oval because it is kind of an oval. And if you spend too much time worrying about making sure that nothing comes on shore in terms of attacks and stuff. If you spend too much time protecting the shores, then your defenses that are on the shores are never going to get, you know, never going to get exercised. They're going to become lethargic. They're going to die off, you know, and that work. And it's like, I don't use hand sanitizer. I joke it. Well, okay. I use it in the hipster way. I use it as a, oh look, I'm touching a cart. Oh, oh my God, I need hand sanitizer. And I'll take like, you know, five pumps and I'll all over my hand and my hands will sting the rest of the time. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that was a bad idea. But, you know, I don't keep hand sanitizer here at the house. Um. In terms of all other things, I mean, I vacuum, but I don't necessarily keep the sterile environment, you know? So, I don't know. And when's the last time I actually had the flu? I've never gotten a flu shot. When's the last time I got the flu? Man, I can't remember. <laughs> no, I can't. I can remember when it was. I remember the events around it, but I can't remember when it was. And that's very indicative of the flu. You have no time sense. This, people people on Facebook recently have been like, oh my God, I'm so sick. I have the flu. I'm like, no, you do not have the flu. This, this is the flu. But imagine that laying on your bed. That's the flu. Not, oh my God, I'm so sick. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so sick. No, that's not the flu. Sitting on your couch, watching television, texting how bad you feel, that's not the flu. The flu is lying in your bed, you know, not even crying because of the pain. You don't have the energy to cry. You have, you have the... Your, your entire thought process is not, oh, how bad I feel. It's not... Oh, my leg hurts. Oh, what time is it? It's, oh, how do I slow my breathing just enough so that I don't overactivate my sinuses and it stops me from breathing momentarily. You are way focused on getting the oxygen in your system. You are covered in blankets and someone is feeding you. That's the flu. You know, <coughs> that could be allergies for cripes sakes. There's my rant for the day. So, we're gonna, I'll see you all later. I'm um, gonna finish eating my sandwiches and get about my business, because like I said, it's a Tuesday and I have some things to do on WoW. Oh, I just got into the shopping. Anyways, I will catch you all later. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll get some likes on this, because it's like cheese bar. If you like that cheese bar, if you like the way it looks, Sure, go ahead, you know. Once I get some, some income back in, I'll, you know, try some cheese from there. I mean, I like flagship and Marco Polo when no woman and stuff. And we've tried the Parmigiano Reggiano and the... Re Par Parmigiano Reggiano and the Romano Reggiano. Yeah. But, you know, there's still some other ones in there. I mean, I like that. I won't eat a blue cheese because I can, I can... It's not that I can taste it, I can smell the mold. Anyways, to those of you who like blue cheese, maybe if you can, try some Oregonzola.
It might taste pretty good. To me, oh, whoa, but if you like blue cheese, apparently Organzola, yeah, I looked it up on Wikipedia, it's apparently a more intense blue cheese. I'm like, okay, sweet, cool. Chat with y'all later.